A new report from Deadline reveals the Harry Potter television reboot is inching ever closer to becoming a reality. We also get our first look at four different names who could potentially lead the project. Perhaps even more of interest though is that Max seems very open to the idea of doing more than one Potter show. So those who are hoping for spinoffs rather than a retelling of the original story may not need to give up hope just yet. Last April, Max and WB made the initial announcement of a brand new TV series that would reboot the Harry Potter story and bring it to a new generation. Max executives and author J.K. Rowling made it a point to talk about how this faithful adaptation would allow for a degree of depth and detail only possible with long-form television. Now, the latest update from Deadline indicates that while we are still early, the project is ramping up. Multiple writers have already met with Max and WB executives to make pitches on how they would go about retelling the Potter story. The first of those names is British writer Martha Hillier, mostly known for her work as executive producer on Netflix's hit show, The Last Kingdom. She's also written 10 episodes for the British crime drama, Vera. Up next, we have Kathleen Jordan, creator of the Teenage Bounty Hunter series on Netflix. She also has writing credits for 10 episodes of the Lifetime series, American Princess. There's also British writer Tom Moran, creator of Amazon's The Devil's Hour. Moran also wrote an episode for Wild Bill, a crime comedy TV series starring Rob Lowe, and two episodes for the 2019 sci-fi series, The Feed. And then we have Michael Lester, Leslie, writer for The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds, and Snakes. You may also remember hearing Leslie's name associated with Peacock's reboot of Battlestar Galactica. However, he ended up leaving the project. Instead, Leslie chose to work on Hulu's adaptation of Margaret Atwood's Mad Adam trilogy. According to Deadline, these four were commissioned to make pitches for a series reflecting their take on the IP. This initial meeting took place in LA between the writers as well as executives from Max and WB. They'll then pick their finalists and those writers will move to a second round in the UK. Ultimately, Rowling would need to sign off on anyone tapped to lead the project, so this UK meeting would be an important step before a final decision is made. Now, other than The Last Kingdom, I can't say I'm terribly familiar with any of these shows or these writers. But what about you guys? Do you have an early favorite here? Leave a comment and let me know which one would be your top pick. Now, there are two other huge takeaways on this report from Deadline. First, they indicate there's an opportunity for more than one of these writers to be involved. So while it may seem like these four are vying for one spot, that may not ultimately be the case. TV shows of this magnitude have many writers and producers working on the project in various stages, so this isn't really a huge surprise. What is a surprise, though, is that Deadline also mentions Max is open to the possibility of developing more than one idea based on Harry Potter. And that, my friends, is the big one. As someone who follows this fandom pretty closely, I would say the reaction to the reboot has been a bit of a mixed bag. There are some who flat out don't want to see it, think it's too soon, and believe that nothing can replace the original films. Then you have those who are looking forward to it and seeing the opportunity to tell a more faithful version of the original book series opposed to what the movies were able to do. But one thing that the vast majority of fans are in agreement on is how we would all love to see more stories from the Wizarding World. Stories about maybe the founders of Hogwarts, the creation of the school, which we surprisingly know very little about. Maybe more backstory on Harry's parents and the Marauders while they were in school. Or what about Tom Riddle's youth and his rise to power as Voldemort? For me personally, I could get on board with any of these directions. I think my favorite idea, though, would be something that's completely original with unknown characters. I mean, couldn't you see like an adventure series about a traveling group of curse breakers? Or maybe a mystery series that follows around a couple of Aurors who are solving complex Wizarding World crimes. Now, while this is certainly exciting and it's fun to speculate and theorize, the bad news here is that we are still very much a long way from any of this happening. Happening. Deadline's report does not speculate on when that second meeting is set to take place, and their sources do indicate the process is very much in the early stages. That being said, these are all key steps before the project can move into pre-production, which would really be a fun time to follow as fans. That's when we'll start to get info on the cast and crew and likely more details about the actual plan for the show, which Max has touted as being a decade-long series. At this point, it's not clear on how they plan on splitting up the books to work across a 10-year span. I originally assumed this time frame would mean we'll get some of the larger books books spread out over multiple seasons, but several of you pointed out in my last video about the TV show that this isn't necessarily the case. They could have a year or two where we actually don't get a new season at all. This could be especially helpful as they get toward the end of the series. It's going to give them more time to plan and film maybe some of those large-scale battle scenes, not to mention all the different sets that are going to be required for all that travel that's happening in Deathly Hallows. And then let's say they do actually decide to proceed with multiple Wizarding World projects. How would they handle the release schedule for both shows? Personally, I believe they'll want to get the reboot off the ground and moving in the right direction first before working on any other spinoffs. I think that is going to be the priority. Warner Brothers Discovery president and CEO David Zaslav has really made it known that he wants the company to double down and focus on their IP, their big 
iconic characters like, of course, Harry Potter, characters that are known across the world. And my guess is that he would want to see the Potter name out there before any other spinoff series can move forward. But who knows, maybe if the pitch is strong enough, perhaps the executives could be persuaded to give the go-ahead now on both of them at the same time. This desire for more stories in the Wizarding World is part of the reason that Hogwarts Legacy was 2023's best-selling video game. And speaking of the hit title from Avalanche Software, there was even a rumor at one point about a possible Hogwarts Legacy TV show, which I would certainly love to see. That just went dead quiet, though. We never heard anything else about it. And on that one, I can think of plenty plenty of ideas. Maybe they could even do some sort of aura crime mystery show during that era. Kind of like what I did recently, investigating 11 mysterious deaths in Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, if you guys didn't hear about this, Legacy actually has 11 NPCs who all died in mysterious ways. Notes are left behind to help you piece together the puzzle and figure out how they died. And I gotta say, some of these are pretty out there. If you're curious, guys, you'll definitely want to check that video out next. Big thank you to all of our channel members who help make these videos possible. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so and stay up to date on all the latest news, theories, and discussion in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. As always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.